Kung mag-alala, kasi ang video na to ay i-explain natin in Filipino para maintindihan talaga natin. Let's go to our first example. We have here, 1 fourth plus 6 eighth. So, dahil meron tayong hindi magkaparehong denominator, ang pinakaunang rule in adding of fractions with dissimilar or different denominator is hahanapin natin ang kanyang LCD or yung kanyang least common denominator. So, ano yung number na pwedeng ma-divide kay 4 and pwedeng ma-divide kay 8? Yes! Ang 8 is pwedeng ma-divide kay 4 at pwede rin siyang i-divide sa 8. So, ang ating magiging LCD ay 8. So, we have LCD here, 8 plus LCD, 8. Now, ang susunod natin gagawin dahil meron na tayong LCD, ang ating LCD divided by our denominator times the numerator. Again, Ang ating LCD, i-divide natin sa ating denominator dito, tapos i-multiply natin sa ating numerator. So, let's do it. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Times 1 equals 2. Tapos, 8 divided by 8 is equal to 1. Times 6 is equal to 6. So, meron na tayong magkaparehong denominator. Ibig sabihin niyan, pwede na tayong mag-add. So, kopyahin natin ulit ang kanyang denominator which is 8. Tapos, pwede na tayong mag-add. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. So, yung sagot natin is 8 over 8. Ito na ba yung final answer natin? Of course, hindi pa kasi kailangan natin siyang i-reduce into lowest term. Lahat ng answer natin is dapat naka-reduce into lowest term. So, 8 divided by 8 is equal to... 1 So, 1 fourth plus 6 eighths is equal to 1 Our next example is 8 ninths plus 5 eighths So, dahil hindi magkapareho yung denominator natin, maghahanap tayo ng LCD or yung kanyang least common denominator Kapag malaki na yung denominator mo, pwede mo siyang i-direct multiply or pwede 9 times 8 Pwedeng ganun para magkaroon ka agad ng LCD or pwede rin ganito ang gawin mo. Pwede rin ganito ang gawin mo. So, 9. Sa 9 tayo mag-start. So, 9 times 1 equals 9. 9 times 2 equals 18. Times 3, 27. Times 4, 36. Times 5, 45. Times 6, 54. Times 7, 63. Times 8, 72. And times 9 is equal to 81. Tapos punta naman tayo sa 8. 8 times 1 equals 8, times 2 equals 16, times 3 equals 24, times 4 equals 32, times 5 equals 40, times 6 equals 48, times 7 equals 56, times 8 equals 64, and times 9 equals 72. So, the same lang, no? 9 times 8 equals 72. So, saan sila unang nag-meet? Saan sila unang nag-meet at yun ang magiging LCD natin? So, sa 72 sila nag-meet, ibig sabihin ng ating LCD ay 72. So, meron na tayong LCD which is 72. So, 72 plus over 72. Ayan. So, 72 again, denomin LCD divided by the denominator times the numerator. So, 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. Again, 72 divided by 9 is equal to 8. Times 8 is equal to 64. Next is 72 divided by 8 is equal to 9 times 5 is equal to 45. Again, 72 divided by 8 equals 9 times 5 is equal to 45. So, ayan, dahil meron na tayong magkaparehong denominator, pwede na tayong mag-add. So, kopyahin lang natin ang ating denominator which is 72. Tapos, 64 plus 45 is equal to 109. Ayan. So, ito na yung sagot natin. 8 nines plus 5 eights is equal to 109 over 72. Final answer na ba ito? Of course, hindi ito ang ating final answer kasi kailangan natin siyang i-reduce into lowest term. And since, take note, malaki yung ating numerator compares sa ating denominator. So, ito yung tinatawag na improper fraction. So, ang gagawin natin is i-divide natin si 109 kay 72. So, 109 divided by 72. 109 divided by 72 is equal to 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 1 times 7 is equal to 7. Ayan. So, pagkatapos nating i- 
multiply, subtract tayo. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. 0 minus 7 cannot be. Borrow 1 from 1. So, magiging 10 itong ating 0. 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. So, ang ating sagot sa ating 8 nines plus 5 eights is equal to, ito yung ating whole number. Tapos, ito yung ating numerator and ito yung ating denominator. So, ang sagot natin is 137 over 72. Yan na ang ating sagot. Kasi, hindi na natin pwedeng i-reduce sa lowest term, si 37 at 72, kasi wala na tayong pwedeng makitang number na pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang dalawa. So, ito na yung final answer natin. 8 nines plus 5 eights is equal to 1, 37 over 72. Last example, 1 fourth plus 3 fifth plus 4 eighths plus 7 tenths. Ayan, ang daming fraction natin. So, kahit na napakarami pang fraction na yan, ang tatandaan natin is, hahanapin talaga natin ang kanyang LCD or least common denominator. Sa tingin nyo sa ating given, ano kaya ang pwede natin gawing LCD sa kanila? Ano kaya ang pwedeng number na pwedeng ma-divide kay 4, pwedeng ma-divide kay 5, and pwedeng ma-divide kay 8, and pwedeng ma-divide kay 10? Yes! 40 ang kanilang LCD. So, 40 ang gagamitin nating LCD. Bakit 40? Tingnan natin ha. So, dito tayo sa 4. So, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Dito naman tayo sa 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Dito naman tayo sa 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. Dito naman tayo sa 10. So, kita pa ba? Ayan. So, 10, 20, 30, 40. So, saan sila nagkapareho? ba sa 40? 40 sila unang nagkapareho lahat. So, yung LCD natin is... 40. Okay, so meron na tayong LCD na 40. So, equals 40 plus over 40 plus over 40 plus over 40. Ayan. So, ang susunod natin gagawin is ang ating LCD divided by the denominator times the numerator. So, 40 divided by 4 is equal to 10. Times 1 is equal to 10. Next, 40 divided by 5 is equal to 8 times 3 is equal to 24. 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. Times 4 is equal to 20. Last, 40 divided by 10 is equal to 4. Times 7 is equal to 28. 28. Wait. Dahil meron na tayong magkaparehong denominator, so pwede na tayong mag -add. So, kopyahin lang natin ang ating denominator, which is 40. So, 10 plus 24 plus 20 plus 28 is equal to 82. Okay, so, 10, 24, 20, and 28 para makita talaga natin. So, 0 plus 4 plus 0 plus 8 is equal to 12. Carry 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ayan. So, Ang sagot sa ating 1 fourth plus 3 fifth plus 4 eighth plus 7 tenths is equal to 82 over 40. Again, hindi pa ito yung final na answer natin. Kasi nga, dapat natin siyang i-reduce into lowest term. And since itong ating sagot is improper fraction kasi malaki yung kanyang numerator, so ang gagawin natin is i-divide natin si 82 kay 40. So, 82 divided by 40 is equal to 2. 2 times 0 equals 0. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Tapos, 8 yan ha. Tapos, subtract tayo. 82 minus 80 is equal to 2. So, ito yung ating whole number. Ito yung ating numerator. And 40 is ang ating denominator. So, ang sagot sa ating 10, ang sagot sa ating 1 fourth plus 3 fifth plus 4 eighth plus 7 tenths is 2 and 2 over 40. Final na sagot na ba yan? 
Of course, hindi pa. Kasi si 2 over 40, pwede pa natin siyang i-reduce into lowest term. So, ano yung pwedeng ma-divide sa kanilang dalawa? Yung pwedeng ma-divide kay 2 and pwedeng ma-divide kay 40. Of course, 2. So, divided by 2 and divided by 2 here. Klaro ba? So, 2 divided by 2 and 40 divided by 2. So, ang sagot natin is 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 40 divided by 2 is equal to 20. Ito na ang ating final na sagot. 2 and 1 over 20. Ayan mga ka-trifty, di ba ang dalilang mag-add ng fraction with dissimilar or different denominator? Basta hanapin mo lang yung kanilang LCD and pwede ka nang mag-add. Sana ay may natutunan kayo sa lesson natin at kung may natutunan kayo sa lesson natin, don't forget to share this video to your classmates and friends and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like and follow our, our, our page that is Cindy the Thrifty. Thanks for watching. See you on our next lesson. Bye!